Tinitato Kato, good evening. The final report into our $22 billion supermarket sector has been revealed. And it's come up with a slew of recommendations to help lower prices for shoppers and to protect suppliers. The Commerce Commission said the duopoly of Woolworths NZ and foodstuffs was not working well for New Zealand consumers as competition was muted. It found New Zealand supermarkets are making more money than those overseas and that our grocery prices are higher. Among its recommendations is for more land to be available so competitors can set up new grocery stores and a mandatory grocery code of conduct to help protect suppliers. But the competition watchdog has stopped short of calling for a major structural change to the sector. Alexa Cook reports. Filling the trolley is emptying Kiwi's pockets. Our food prices are the fifth highest in the OECD. They are astronomical. Totally over the top. I think there are people in New Zealand that can't afford to buy weekly groceries. Supermarket's so pretty expensive, especially for a student. Atro honestly, a bit atrocious, you know. Supermarkets effectively are deriving excess profits of around $1 million a day each and every day across New Zealand. That's partly because there are only two main supermarket companies in New Zealand. That creates a duopoly which decreases competition. If competition was working better than it is now, consumers would pay lower prices for a given range or quality of groceries that they buy today. To fix that, the Commerce Commission wants to make more land available for new supermarkets. It's recommending changing planning laws and banning exclusive and restrictive land covenants. We expect that a large-scale rival might be supported by the freeing up of sites for retail development. It also wants to introduce a mandatory grocery code of conduct to reduce power imbalances between retailers and suppliers, mandatory unit pricing as in how much per kilogram, and a dedicated grocery regulator. But the competition watchdog has backpedalled on an earlier suggestion to create a third supermarket chain by forcing Countdown and Foodstuffs to sell a number of their stores. I think you'll find that people in the big supermarkets um, will be feeling today that they have dodged a bullet. And there's concern it's up to supermarkets to voluntarily monitor loyalty schemes, price displays and promotions. It falls short and um, without a hard regulatory stick forcing them to, the supermarkets will just revert back to their business as usual practice. If the recommendations proposed don't achieve the level of competition uh, that we need, I will consider further measures. Others are applauding the report. The Food and Grocery Council has been pushing for a code of conduct for 12 years. It delivers on everything we've asked for and more. Uh, it'll certainly make a significant change to the treatment of suppliers in this country. While some of the recommendations will be implemented this year, it could take some time for shoppers to notice prices dropping at the till. Well, kia ora, Alexa. How have the two big supermarket companies responded to today's report? Well, Mike, both supermarket giants declined an interview, but they say they support the Commerce Commission report and recommendations and will work alongside the government to make them happen. Woolworths NZ, well, it agrees that the law planning needs changing and that that will free up more land for new supermarkets. It says it'll take time to read through the report and that it's aware there's a lot of work ahead. While its competitor, Foodstuffs, says it's already committed to an action plan and that includes making pricing more simple and also developing a code of conduct. But look, all eyes will be on these two supermarket chains and the Commerce Commission to see if these recommendations will actually increase competition and lower the food prices for Kiwis. Alexa Tanakwe.